Let's take a look at fractions on this calculator. HP 39G2, I believe that is. Okay. Now, our first one we're going to take a look at is 40 divided by 72. Okay, so I'm going to put in 40 divided by 72 and then push enter. It gives us a decimal here. And but we got this button up here that says A, B divided by C. If you push that button, it changes it to 5 ninths, which is our answer. Let's take a look at addition. So we've got 1 over 36 plus 2 over 27. I'll press clear a few times. And we got 1 over 36. So 1 divided by 36 plus 2 divided by 27. Then you do an enter. And we get this decimal. I push this A, B over C button. And we get 11 over 108, which is our answer. Now subtraction. We want two-fifths minus one-third. Press clear a few times. Two divided by five minus one divided by three. Enter. And we get a decimal. And so now we just push this A, B over C. And we get uh, one-fifteenth. And that's our answer. Multiplication. Let's clear a few times. 14 over 21. So 14 divided by 21 times 9 divided by 7. Then you do an enter. Let me get this decimal here. So I'll push this A, B over C button, and it gives us 6 sevenths. Okay. Now, in this fraction, or this uh, fraction operation, we've got division. Uh, whenever you do division of fractions, it's usually a good idea to put parentheses around each fraction when you plug in your calculator. Some calculators don't require that, but uh, just as a general practice, you should always do that. So, let's clear a few times. 20 over 27, and I'll put parentheses around it. So, 20 divided by 27, divided by, and then beginning parentheses, 10 divided by 18. Now, I have seen some calculators that will take this as integer division. So, they take 20 divided by 27 to give you zero. So, um, you have to be careful about different calculators in that regard. So, I push enter, and we get this. So, I push this A, B over C, and it gives us four thirds. Now, if I want mixed number format, because this one's an improper fraction, uh, if I push the button again, it'll give me one and one third. Push it again, goes back to decimal, again, goes to improper fraction format. So that's our division. And one more. We got a complex fraction. This is a fraction inside of a fraction. Trick to that is to put parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom when you're putting it in. So I'm going to have a beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 3, plus 1 divided by 5, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses around the bottom, and 1 7th minus 2. So 1 divided by 7 minus 2, closing parentheses, and then I'll press uh, enter. We get this decimal here, and again, you push the A, B over C, and that gives us negative 56 over 195, which is our answer. And that's how you do fractions on an HP 39G2.